Get back, demon! Everyone retreat! That bloody monster is too strong, boss. Yes, well, I can bloody well see that. What are we going to do, boss? Well, I think it's time I finally used it. I've spent weeks, months, working hard every day until I finally obtained this. Priests, bring it down. What could it be? I'm in... Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's a fucking paper when been working all last month so I could buy this. It only cost one month's worth of wages. Let's kill this noob! Yeah! Kill the noob! Hey, what up, boys? Today, we're gonna be breaking down the religion system in Ashes of Creation and giving a few comparisons with similar systems in other MMOs. If you're discovering my channel through this video, here's a link to the Nodes Complete Overview, which this video spawned from, so go check that out as it explains all the node-related subjects in about 15 minutes. Before we begin, make sure you check out this graph, hit the like button, leave a comment and all that bollocks. You guys know what to do to help the channel. Let's crack on, shall we? So, religion in Ashes of Creation is meant as another type of progression for your character, rather than an aesthetic choice. Your religion may affect your build and gameplay in the form of side grades for your spells. So, having knowledge on different types of religion is going to be important. Luckily, yours truly is here to clue you in. You're welcome! The religious systems in Ashes of Creation are tied heavily to the story and lore, likely giving the players a choice to flesh out details and information about the gods of Vera through quests and story missions. I explained the base lore of Ashes of Creation during my 26 minute lore video up here in the top corner. I highly recommend you go check that out if you haven't already, as it will set you straight on who the gods are and their purpose here in the world of Vera. Religion allows the player to choose either a light or dark path through their adventure, depending on the gods they end up following. Using a divine node as the central hub to learn new religions and progress current ones. This is done through the Divine Node's unique building, the Temple, which levels up as the node progresses, offering more perks to the religion side of the game. There are six main religions for Ashes of Creation, one for each of the gods, and an additional religion specifically for the Tolma. Creation herself is probably going to be a special type of religion, as worshipping her is likely reserved for powerful lore characters and players who have progressed far into religion itself. Kind of like a reward for actually progressing and completing your religious tree. The seven religions are labelled the Orders of the Seven. Each order given a name to reflect the god they worship. Currently, we know the names of three of the Orders. The Order of Hope, which is governed by the humans, worshipping the deity Resna. The Order of Fate, which is governed by the orcs, worshipping the deity Norlin. And Order of Truth, which is governed by the elves, worshipping the deity Shol. An important fact to bear in mind is that these orders were created before the fall, and their religious beliefs may have changed slightly from the original over the 2,500 years that they were exiled. For example, there is a religion specifically for the Tulnar, which probably affects the gameplay down in the Underrealm. This religion would not have existed before the fall, so some things have definitely changed. But I digress. All this lore stuff is hard to speculate whilst a game is in its pre-alpha, so for all we know, I could just be talking out my ass. <laughs> you probably won't start off with your religion from level 1, instead unlocking it later down the line whilst leveling, as an important mission that the character is urged to complete to progress their character's growth. Similar to the kind of thing you see in Black Desert Online, where Essential quests pop up at certain points of the story that progress your black spirit. These benefit your character in no way whatsoever outside of upgrading the look of your black spirit buddy. What Ashes of Creation is likely to do is, once a viable divine node is progressed on the server, a small pop-up will tell you about religion and possibly piquing your interest enough to go and check it out. 
To progress the religions themselves, quests will be offered to the player, probably a different quest chain per deity, giving you that old school Elder Scrolls feeling of completing the quest that Daedra offered you out in the world. The more tasks you perform for your deity, the deeper into their religion you go. A quick side note before moving on is that you can access the same kind of services that Divine Nodes offer for your religion progression at your Freehold, using a shrine, but we'll cover that specifically for the Freehold series coming soon. So make sure you smash that subscribe button! Ah, here we are. The bit you've all been waiting for. The whole point of the religion system. Now you might think to yourself, Oh my god guys, I can't believe you made me watch this whole video just to see the bit that matters right at the end. But the reality of the situation is, making you watch the whole video boosts the analytics for the channel and therefore boosts my numbers and therefore boosts my ego. And therefore, let's make it a good night's sleep. Anyway, the benefits of actually having and progressing a religion comes in two forms. First of all, and probably the main one, is in the form of titles. Stephen has stated that titles granted for these religion ranks may allow your character to obtain benefits whilst performing certain activities in the game. The specific example he gave was the Bishop title, which, whilst active during a node siege, grants you additional attack power, mitigation, and even an additional hotbar with bishop specific skills to use during the siege. This is a very powerful benefit though, so it's probably only going to be available to a much more exclusive group of people or person like the mayor of the divine node itself. Small benefits are also possible though, for example, this is not canon, just an example, the low rank of priest could offer you an aura to all allies around you whilst in a certain part of the game, like a corrupted dungeon, giving players that diversity needed to offer their services during group content. The possibilities for this title system opens up quite a... <clears throat> I think I'll tackle this specifically at a later date. Anyway, on to the next major benefit, which comes in the form of augments. I have a two-part video series on augments linked up here in the top corner if you fancy checking them out. I'll cut it down briefly for this video. So the augments are the main way for your class to progress. However, augments are not just tied to classes. They come from all aspects of the game and are going to be a main mechanic for the ways Ashes of Creation allows you to customize your gameplay. Religion takes full advantage of this by allowing your abilities to be augment using religious aesthetics and benefits such as extra damage against corrupted or undeads, maybe even increased healing for party members in a pinch, or could even go as far as changing abilities functionality completely, making direct healing spells become direct damaging spells against certain mob types, undead for example. The possibilities are endless, which seems to be the theme with Ashes of Creation. There's a few much smaller benefits like discounts at certain vendors, unique items from shops, recipes and specialised roles, but these are so vague that we'll just leave it at that for now. But wait! There's more! Before moving on, Intrepid have made it very clear that although religion is a major part of the game, all these religious benefits are designed to be side grades and not direct upgrades, meaning you don't have to take a religion if you don't want to. However, they have also stated that you will be missing out on a sizable chunk of the game and the customization if you skip it. Now, I couldn't make this video without mentioning the others, could I? Steven and the team have said, very excitedly mind you, that you can in fact worship the others' religion instead of the divines, really giving your character that choice of good or evil as you travel through the world of Vera. How detailed or restricted this evil god worshipping is going to be is currently unknown and I don't want to get your hopes up too much. I'd love it if it was something like one short progression for one religion reaches a certain point, a cultist for the others approaches you in town and offers you a quest chain to go down a darker path instead. These quests could have you interacting with the others a lot more, visiting their realm, learning their reasons behind their decision to turn on their fellow gods, maybe even convincing a sizable portion of the player base that the others actually did nothing wrong. This would really flesh out the lore behind the others and making the whole world seem more like shades of grey instead of just good versus evil, which really enriches the story and potential for future storytelling as the game goes beyond its release.
And that's pretty much all I got for religions in Ashes of Creation. Psst. Hey, you want some more of the good shit? The next video is actually already up on the Discord if you want to go and check that out. Anyway, I want to thank the guys who commented on the last video. You're the best and I appreciate you a lot. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya. There are six primary li there are six primary there are six primary religion there are six primary primary there are six primary religions there are six primary there are six main religions for ashes of creation